welcome back to our channel good morning good afternoon good evening your time thank you guys for continuing support please subscribe to our channel if you haven't and turn on the bell for more video welcome our new members to the old ones god bless you if you're passing by please join us guys as you're supporting us may the lord support you in everything you lay your hands amen to the news in details chukwe meka is the former governor in fact made his interviewers to keep quiet he shut them up because they never believed the answers they got he's a man that stood firm and said it as it is i want us to watch please do not leave here without subscribing i will see you also in my next video of anambra state glad to have you join us in the studio thank, thank you. you so much good let's start this way what does it seem like some in the eastern part of the country are beating the drums of war by their actions attacking federal institutions and even the police and even killing the police what does it seem like that anybody who hears this story will be mad against the people but who are the people who are burning INEC offices who are killing the police well there is the impression that some people, maybe even in government, are guilty of organizing such things and blaming it on IPOB and ESN. Effort has been made by elders of our people to find out the truth. Mm. And uh, the hands of uh, IPOB and ESF are not there. I'm sure you know that at a very prison there was uh, a lot of uh, devastation and uh, the IGO police blamed it immediately on IPOB and ESF. Even the governor of that state, Imo state, at the beginning thought it was IPOB and ESL. But now, now we know that more than 80% of the people caught by the camera, uh, as, uh, what do you call that, uh, sir? Uh, are not That's from CCTV, CCTV uh, in, in Imo. Are, are not from uh, the southeast or even the east at all. Now, Gulag is dead. Was it a desire again to blame it on IPOP and e e ESN? First of all, my heart go to the family. But we are learning more now. That's a design to provoke the east. What do you think the motive for that would be? Because when you say that you suspect that, that there are elements home. within the federal government yes. who may be fomenting this uh, trouble in the southeast, what do you think the motives could be? I don't know whether they are particularly in government, but from what we are reading and from the research we are making and getting results, many people I'm happy to let me uh, tell you. Yes. I read the president's statement. There are many positives there. Number one, he says, in spite of effort to run down the INEC, INEC mm -hmm. there will still be elections. Election. Mm -hmm. Two, that he has no ambition to stay beyond his term of office and go for third term. So, that's very good. But he may not know all that is going on. A president takes responsibility for what is happening. But it uh, is taking what is told. And okay. I heard the Minister for Information categorically blaming IPOP and ESN. How did he know? These are dangerous elements in government. Mm. So, e exactly why are you absolving? 
ESN and IPOP of these attacks? Because a, a lot of people, including, of course, the IG and the president himself, based on his statement, they believe that this is the signature of IPOP. And it's a military uh, arm that's um, uh, the militant arm. The and ESN. the third also, let me just add to that, mm. they call people not to go out to do their normal activities in most parts of the East. No, that was only for two days. The days to honor the heroes past. Let's go back to the basics. I, Bob and I make don't have tradition of shedding blood, of burning down things in this East. Burning down what we are boasting for. Burning down buildings, killing policemen. Look, I was coming back from my village in Boku. I passed through on nature. After six hours staying in one place, I had to look for a way to go back. Not to go forward now. Go back to Boku. Okay, let, right. let me take you yeah, up. No, yeah, we'd like, like, uh, we'll like you, we'll let uh, you land, but because we need to uh, quickly clarify the issues that you've just raised about evidence that IPOB and um, you, you know the Eastern uh, Security Network ESN are not behind uh, these violent attacks against public institutions. What is the basis of your claim? Is it as a result of police investigation? Because you say that you you investigated. Who exactly investigated? and you know to have this outcome and what the evidence really is yes. i mean to prove this first of all it is not in Igbo tradition to shoot people in office shoot police it's not Igbo tradition to burn down houses during the uh, answers people attributed what was happening in lagos to some Igbo elements it was not and eventually they discovered. So I don't know. Um, the president should not be blamed for what he's told to say. Let, let, let me ask you this. Uh, the president said those carrying out uh, these activities are too young to realize the destructions that occurred during the war. The question on the lips of some is whether they have not learned any lessons from that war? Um, I think people who are doing this, those who are sponsoring this destruction, don't want election. Don't want president from Southeast Zone. And will even want to scatter the Anambra election and go for emergencies situation and appoint somebody we i don't know nigerians must be thinking about their fellow citizens mm -hmm. whether they are in uh, sokoto or in An anambra we should understand what is going on we should jump into conclusion i is uh, i went to find out uh, i blamed some people for for what came out of their mouth sometimes some, some people talk too much okay let's talk about the this ipop issue that seems to not be you know going away anytime soon there seems to be a leadership gap in the southeast that makes you know groups like ipop though proscribed that makes groups like IPOB and others calling for secession, especially in the Southeast, to have uh, this kind of um, following and respect. The lockdown for two days in the Southeast was total. Is it a reflection of the level of influence of IPOB? And not much is being heard uh, from the Southeast leaders like yourself and, of course, the Southeast governors. My what is responsible for that? Please. Let's think original. What is responsible for that? The federal government has been working hard, pushing the Igbo out of Nigeria. 
the young men are reacting to what is coming from the federal government. What, what is what? pushing the Igbo out of Nigeria? Yes. It sounds... Uh, could, could you explain? I will explain. Mm. When we, if it, whether it is projects, location, you don't find it in Ebola. Tell me any, any of the, uh, uh, any station for railway right now. Whether it is appointments, you don't find it in Ebola. But if, you, if it is retirement from service, we dominate. Do you know that for long, I don't know whether it has changed, there is no southeasterner in the National Security Council of Nigeria. Then individual Igbo people were pulled down. Ibeto was the giant of cement. He was pulled down. Now he's trying to climb up again. That even Ivan Yuba was detained innocent who is a uh, running a car manufacturing uh, something something that he should be pampered he was detained with pants flown to lagos with pants uh, so there are too many instances of the evil being humiliated marginalized excluded ETC and oh, look at the, um, the recent appointments. The four zones south, south, southeast, southwest, and middle belt four zones mm -hmm. went to court to sue the federal government, the president, for not complying with federal character. But let me take you up on, on your the idea that the federal government is pushing Ndebo out of Nigeria. One of the biggest uh, projects ongoing by this administration, the Niger, uh, <laughs> the, you know. Okay. My, my sister, I don't understand. Uh, when did it start, the Niger Bridge? Who started it? And how far has it, has it gone? The second so Nigeria. That's the second Nigeria. Yes. How far has it gone? So there is nothing. But if you see somebody that, crying, people would say that that project has actually moved a lot faster under this um, administration. And he is committed to doing it. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. let, let ask you this. Mm -hmm. One keeps wondering. You're a former governor, a stakeholder in this nation, and from the east what the elders in that region are doing to stem this tide, especially from IPOP, ESM. I'm coming. For example, in the Southwest, they've condemned people like Iboho, Some but people condemn I, I don't think one has had any strong leader of your wealth, you know, in the East, condemn the IPOP and the ESN and what is happening, and kind of particularly what is happening. Uh, he is in London and he is inciting people here to... Uh, we have not enough time. Otherwise, what I'm telling you is that the reaction of the youths in IPOP and began is the what should be the reaction of everybody, including me. But because I know a bit more, and I know that if you restructure Nigeria... So are you saying that what they're doing is right because said that should be the reaction of everybody, including you? Are you, are you saying, are you supporting what they are no, doing? No, I am saying that those who are saying leave, leave Nigeria, leave Nigeria, have a reason for that. The federal government is the reason for that. Are there, no, are, are there no other ways without resorting to violence and destroying public We are not resorting to violence. Violence is in being imposed on us. Mm, that, I don't understand that. Uh, okay, let me take you up very quickly because uh, we're, we're running out of time. On the issue of uh, Southeast Presidency, 
I, I, I've read you in a number of places, actually seem to uh, contradict yourself somewhat, help us understand and clarify. On the one hand, uh, you did endorse Yahya Bello, the governor of uh, Kogi State, <laughs> uh, you know, as, you know, for presidency in 2023. And on the other hand, uh, you've also been quoted as saying that uh, Ndi Boudra, of the Southeast, would be willing to kneel before the rest of the country to get the 2023 presidency. Where exactly do you stand? Let's have that clarity. There's no doubt. And I think, I thank all Nigerians, Miss, Miss, uh, the northerners, the western people, the south south people, they are all supported now. Almighty God in heaven, heaven has approved southeast presidency. Now, I had a visitor, uh, Yaya Bello, who came to my house, we talked and he told us what he has been doing many things very impressive things he has been doing in the state but he told us also, also he wants to be president hmm. and he complained about injustice unfairness inequity in kogi where one part was dominating the governorship so one of us stood up and said, justice is good for all. Look at Nigeria. We are no Igbo has held chief executive position in the country. We have not been elected. So we feel rejected already. And if after the election we find that uh, uh, we are rejected again. Oh, one rejected does not reject himself. The okay. young ones feel totally rejected we're, we're, and they are reacting towards that. All right. We're going to take a short break. We'll come back. I'll address some of the issues you've raised. All right. You're still watching News Night. We'll be back in a bit. I will still have a. A plea for calm. Groups in Niger Delta ask for mass action. All right, our guest is uh, Chief uh, Chukwe Mekaezi, a former governor of uh, Anambra State. Thank you so much for uh, staying with us. On the issue of 2023 presidency and the Southeast, there is this general uh, perception or belief that Ibuenweze, let me just put it that way, that there is not that singular you know, figure that Ndibo can actually rally around. If we were even to say, who is that candidate best suited to take over in 2023 in the Southeast? Are there any names that will, you know, will come up in a jiffy? Sure. Not only ourselves. The Yoruba has a, a group who have started processing the names of competent people from Ibolan who can become president. They're working on that. We are working on that too. And we have people. Are you engaging other parts of the country? Very much. Other parts. That, that Let actually, me tell you. What I wanted to ask you. Oh. Now some people said that the challenge that the Igbo, Igbo man or Igbo people seem to have is that they do not know how to play this politics because mm. politics is a game of numbers. You're saying they don't give it to you. Nobody's going to give you anything on, on a platter. platter of gold. They're going to have to fight for it. Now, you have people aligning with all the parts. But are the Igbos really aligning with all the parts to play this game the way it's supposed to be played mm. so that they can get a plum ticket? That's, that's, that's the big question. Well, you can say that again. Um, on Monday, there was a meeting of uh, various ethnic groups at this year hotel here, Transcopy Hotel. I told them that the greatest guilt in Nigeria go to Ibo and the Yoruba. Because if Yoruba and Ibo had aligned early, there's no way of anybody dominating this country the way it is now. But even that, I want to tell you that we are making progress on this. Look, we have a problem and I'm prepared to accept it wholly. We have bad mouth. We go to any place, we make build palaces 
around the whole country. And sometimes we have bad mouth, we boast. It's the ego and such hmm. things. It's the ego king of money uh, and such big names. But united we are. That we have no one person who is uh, is able. Even that problem is being solved. I mean, like okay. they say, as, 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 well, yes. Yes. I mean, Ibu Ibu has no don't have king. kings. Uh, well, yeah. no king. Yes. But we are more united than most groups. But from what you've said, there is a need for some kind of reorientation. But let's talk very quickly before we have, we have just one minute. Are, are Southeast leaders like yourself able to prevail upon IPOP to adopt a non-violent, non-confrontational approach in its desire to, you know, get um, equity and justice and inclusiveness? We try to reach people who he listens to. And he sometimes cool down. But violence, please, is not a trademark of IPOP or ESN or even people from outside. That's hard to believe because that's what people are witnessing the East. Okay. We, you are witnessing it. Who is propelling it? Who are the people from outside Nigeria even who were caught in a world? Huh? Let me give you an instance. Some group non Igbo uh, raped a woman in a number of states and plucked her eyes off the greatest provocation. The same group went and killed a, some non Igbo uh, family. Mm. The impression is that the Igbo youths got annoyed and uh, did that because of what the group did to Igbo uh, woman. Eventually it was discovered. The same group who did the raping did the killing of the non Igbo group there. There is Concerted effort to make us look like we are people we are not. Okay, that's a point we've made. Uh, very quickly, do you believe in this uh, zonal hearing for the amendment of the constitution ongoing now? In 30 seconds, if you can. Well, uh, Shota, no need for continuing with that thing. Okay, thank you very much. We should have a new constitution. Thank you so thank much. You so much.